I want to show you how to add the Google Meet icon to your nav bar in case that we ever need to go virtual. With this icon, all your students need to do is go into your class on Brightspace, click the icon, and it will take them to the Meet that they'll join for class. So, to create this icon, you're going to go up to your nav bar where it has the three dots. Okay? You're going to click that. You're going to click edit this nav bar. It's going to take you to this screen, okay, where it says edit nav bar. You're going to click add links. Once this window pops up, you're going to click create custom link. You want to name your link. So I already have a Google Meet, so I'm just going to type in Meet. And then you're going to type in this uh, URL. So https colon backslash backslash meet.google.com backslash lookup backslash. Now this is where you're going to put your nickname. If your last name is something common like Smith, you don't want to just put Smith. Okay, you want to make it unique to your class. So I'm going to put my last name, school, and the year just so it's more unique to um, my group. Then you can scroll down. You can choose an icon, a picture for your icon. So I went and got the Google Meet icon and uploaded it. Um, you don't have to. Okay. Once you've typed in your nickname you go to create it'll already show up that it's being clicked okay ignore that up there that was a test okay I'm going to click add and then it is in my nav bar important before you exit out of the screen is to click save and close it's taking a minute okay so now and you can rearrange your navbar however you like. Now here is my meet. If I click on it, it's going to take me to that meet that I created. And here is my nickname. So it's actually fairly simple to do. Okay. If you need to change anything on your uh, icon, you can always go into it. And this is where you can change the property. So maybe you didn't have a picture at the time that you wanted to use as your icon. So you can go back and upload it later if you so please. Okay. And just remember, anytime you change something, always click save and close so that it updates your nav bar. All right. I hope this helps. And I hope that <clears throat> there is never a need to use this. But just in case, you now know how to add Google Meet to your nav bar.